4. The Suburban confirms regulations for fine bus companies that leave without notifying immigrants. Chicago 4. Chicago Suburban Hinsdale, Woodstock, Buffalo Grove and Joliet on Tuesday night. The official action in response to the growing immigrant crisis. Hinsdale Village President Tom Colley said, Unless a bus driver has done something recently, these buses will continue to be unaware of at least until March said. Hinsdale is a list of suburbs passing the regulations that punish bus companies without notifying immigrants. A bus from Texas came to Hinsdale Quantity Stop on Monday. All immigrants coming to Hinsdale, the arrival points in Chicago ya on unidentified trains, said. Initially, what started as southern and western suburban decreases, which often spread to remote northern communities such as Woodstock, who had arrived last weekend. The immigrants were left to Woodstock at the Quantity Station and then boarded a train in Chicago. The first person I saw was a young little boy in a small little baby cart. He could not be three years old. The child looked sick. I wanted to take him and take him to the hospital. Rob Mutert said. Mutert with Warp Corps. Most of immigrants came without the need for appropriate clothes and other sources, which most of suburban communities say that they do not have. We have no staff, expertise or money, Woodstock Mayor Michael Turner said. And that may not be ideal. We can all wish something different. But that's the truth. Turner said that everything is talking about a federal solution to the immigrant crisis. You know. It needs a wider national solution in all matters. This is not something to decide by the city of Woodstock. We have to focus on our needs and what we've tried to achieve here, Turner said. Woodstock resident Jose Lopez was also weighed. Lopez. I do not think we should follow the footprints of every city around us. We have a chance to show that we are human, said. The Woodstock Municipal Assembly has passed its own bus regulation regulation that prohibits the transportation of large groups of people without an approved application. Buffalo Grove approved a similar regulation. And Joliet took action. There is a complete agreement that we want to protect our city, said. City leaders were added to the choir of suburban sounds begging for a federal solution. The federal government will have to be done by the federal government. All of us will have go to this level help us achieve it. Joliet Mayor Terry Darcy said. Said. This comes after Tinley Park's own arrangements.